Hi, I'm Heather from Arrow, and today we're going to show you how to assemble our five drawer modular unit. This unit does go with the other three pieces of our mod unit. It'll come in two separate boxes and comes just in white. And the basic benefits of this unit is it has five drawers for all your storage. These will be the tools you're going to need to assemble your five drawer modular unit. We do recommend a number two Phillips head screwdriver, a one eighth drill bit, a clamp, and a level. Step one, you're going to find your panels A, your panel G, your panel D, your panel X, and your panel Z for assembly of your five drawer unit. You're also going to take out of the parts bag your C1 silver cam bolts and your D1 wood dowels. And starting with panel A, you're going to screw in six of the cam bolts, as you see here. The larger holes are where wood dowels will go, so use the smaller holes for the cams. Again, on panel G, you're going to do six screws in there. In panel D, there are none. In panel X, two. Panel D, there are also two. And then lastly, you're going to take your D1 wood dowels and put them in. Now notice the orientation here. There's a cam bolt here. There'll be a hole in front of it. That is not where the wood dowel goes. It'll go right next to it. So on panel D, you're going to put them in eight spots on each corner. Two on each corner, essentially. On panel X, it's four. Two at the top, two at the bottom. And then finally on Z, the same thing. Two at the top and bottom. On step two, you're going to find your X panel, your D panel, and your Z panel, and you're going to connect them together. So you're going to line up your cam bolts and your dowels and get them, you know, right in together. And once you do that, you're going to take and turn the cams 180 degrees, and you're going to need to do that four times. So one, two, three, and four. In addition to step two, there's another panel that may not be described in your manual that's a support panel. It's a panel O, and there are another O in there, but those are wood and they're smaller, so you're looking for this longer one that has the two cams um, on each corner. And you're going to get your C1 uh, connecting bolts and screw them into panels X and Z here, so below the second runners. And essentially, you're going to nestle this panel O in between these two, and you're going to do it before you screw down panels X and Z in and then tighten it down. In step three, we need you to flip the cabinet completely over. So Z is going to be on this side and X is going to be on this side now. And you're going to remove the three screws on this runner uh, to expose the cams are hidden below it. So you need to do that on both sides, on the Z panel and on the X panel. Then you're going to grab your panel G. And we've stepped, we've kind of moved ahead. We've already put the casters on, which we'll show you this in a later step. And then you will nestle this into the cam bolts and dowels, just like that, down and down. And again, same thing that we've done with all of these, you're going to need to tighten it four times on those cams turning at 180 degrees. We're gonna skip ahead on step three to step three because we've got this upside down and it's a easier to put the casters on. So you're gonna find your T1 caster and your B4 washer and as simple as there's a little metal hole there, you will screw this down and it obviously is useful to use your spanner once you get all the way down to the bottom here to tighten it up. Step three, part two, before you put your A on, we have flipped the cabinet back over. So you're gonna notice your X is now on this side, your Z is now on this side. And before you put your top on, you want to reinstall your runners on both sides. Again, notice you know where the alignment is, keep it the same as the other four runners, but reattach all three screws on both sides. Then grab your A panel, and you're going to put it onto your panels X, D, and Z. Same process as before, you're just gonna line up your cams into the holes and the wood dowels, and you know, just line it up and beat it down, and you're gonna tighten this in the six spots, two on each side. So one, two on the back, one, two on each side of this.
On step four, you're gonna gather your drawer pieces and you wanna find your K1 piece, your K2, those are the shorter side pieces, your K3, your K4, which are the longer front and back pieces, and finally, your drawer bottom, which is K5. There may be some mislabeling on the K3 and K4 ones, so I just want to show you what they look like. So the K3 one has a bunch of holes on it. It's on both sides. And then the K4 panel has no holes on it. It does have the groove for you know the drawer bottom, but it has no holes. On step four, part two, you're gonna find your S3 screws, which are your long black screws, and you're going to screw together your K1 through K4 panels. We're gonna show you a different step that then is illustrated in the manual. You can follow each step. There's five drawers, so you can change it up, but whatever works easiest for you. We have found if you take your K3 panel, which is your front panel, and screw in your K1 and your K2 panels first, uh, that's a little bit easier. And what you wanna notice in this technique is we are lining up the screw perfectly. So get it lined up and then screw it in and you'll notice you screw it in on the back side here so right here and we do find using a manual screwdriver is a little bit easier because an electric one it goes a little bit too fast and if you're not lined up perfectly it could cause you some problems so get your K1, 2, and 3 screwed together and then we'll show you the next part once you've got your K1, 2, and 3 screwed together you're going to get your K5 back bottom panel and you're just going to slide it into these grooves get it all nestled then take your last part your K4 Place it onto the back panel and using those S3 screws on the sides, you're going to screw it together. On step five, you're going to get your wood O panel and your S2 screws. And these are smaller than your S3 screws, so make sure you grab the bag that's S2. And you're going to screw this panel onto the back of your drawers. Now, what's important in this step is to do it very loosely. So notice we have not screwed this all the way down. Make sure that it'll clear because this will be done in a later step when you put these into the drawers. We don't want them to get caught. But we need these to be loose so that when we go to level this uh, at the later step, we can do it. In step six, you're going to get your K front panel, your B2 screws, and your handle, and you're going to attach them. So you're going to attach them from underneath, so you'll notice I've poked through one of the B2 screws here. And what we do find is if you just take your handle and kind of wind this one around a bit uh, to get it started, that will help you to then go over on the other side and pop this one in and use your screwdriver to screw it down. In step six, part two, you are going to put all of your drawers into the unit. And we have only put on the handle at this point, so the fronts of these are loose. And the reason you're doing that is exactly for this reason, is notice if one is off, you will be able to straighten it before you screw it down. We also recommend getting a level and making sure your floor is level where you're sitting, because obviously if it's off, your drawers are going to be off as well. On step six, part three, what you, once you've got your drawers in, what you're going to be looking for is if you notice, this one is flush and this one is not. So in our step five, we had put that uh, wood piece O in the bottom, and this is where you're gonna use that piece to help align and flush those drawers. So you can kind of jostle it um, like Michael is doing here, but you can pull it out as well. And kind of like a trapezoid if you need, or a frame of a picture if you need to get this aligned up. You get it where you need it, and then you're gonna tighten these down because that's what this piece is for, is to really get uh, your drawers square and flush in that uh, mounting. Step six, um, part three, we're kind of in preparation of part three. What you want to do is take your clamp and clamp down your K panels to your uh, K3 panel to get it nice and aligned. And we do find too, if you have a drill bit, it does help to kind of pre-drill some of these holes a little bit deeper so that your S2 screws will go in perfectly and pull in um, the panel. And so we've marked the tip of our drill bit just to make sure you don't go too far. So you would go in and you would stop right there where the tape is at so you're not going to drill all the way through uh, your K panels. Once you've done that, then you're simply going to put your S2 screws in and screw it tight. And you're going to do this one, two, three, four, five, six on all the panels.